One of the trickiest thing about the UI programming is identifying what's wrong when the layout you see isn't what you anticipated. With non-UI code, debugging is normally a lot easier. You add a breakpoint, step through the program, and eventually one of the statements does something unexpected, and there is your problem. But UI code is different because the amount of instruction between what you write and what actually render is more than any single person can comprehend. Browsers pioneer a solution to this problem with their innovative developer panels and element inspectors, originally released in 2005 as an extension to the Firefox called Firebug. The concept is now ubiquitous in a browsers and indispensable tool in the developer's belt. You can click around and view all the CSS rules, see why things are big as they are, and tons of other useful things. So, what's Flutter's story here? The short answer is that Flutter can do all of this. In the developer tools, amongst the inspector, profiler, and loggers, you will find the Layout Explorer, which demystifies layout sizing, and right next to it, the widget detail tree, which shows tons of explanatory information. Here, I am inspecting a custom focusable list style widget of my own creation. You can see its subtree and lots of property on the various descendant widgets. But oddly, the focusable list style says almost nothing and quickly passes the bug right to its descendants. I don't know about you, but my brain doesn't think of my custom widgets in relation to their descendant gesture detector, listener, and focus widgets. It think of them as a combination of their role and their constructor parameters that I pass them. That's what I want to see here. All hope is not lost. Stateful widget at least show information about their backing state object. You can tip down that underscore widget tooltip and see all the property on the widget. And that's really helpful. But gosh, it's a lot of clicks. Is there any way this could be better? First of all, know that all of this strictly optional. And for the stateful widgets, that state tooltips pointer back to the widget is enough to keep us from worrying about this until you need it. But when you are debugging something broken, using these tooltips would not be a quality of developer experience Flutter aims for. Let's see if we can do it better. Stateless widget, stateful widget, and the state class all have a method which is used to add information to this debug tree. Debug fill properties. Almost every material widget implements this so that your app can be inspected without you having to do anything. But it's obvious that our custom widget don't come with a lot. To get started, override the debug fill properties method and add new properties to the builder list. Which type you add depends on the type of your instance variable. And you can always find the right one by looking up the variable of the same type in material widget. At heart, they are all subclass of diagnostic properties class, which you could also subclass yourself. In my case, to store integer property name index, I added an in property value with the debug label index and the actual index itself as a positional parameter. Hot reload your app, click on the widgets you have been doctoring up, and there it is. Visible at a glance, no extra series of clicks, hoovers necessary. The Flutter team has never stopped working hard on the improving the debugging experience in Flutter. There is an entire sub team dedicated to it, but this trick often get overlooked. And earlier, I mentioned that all of this was strictly optional, but that statement was mostly intended for the app developers. Package authors who created widget that others will use can really improve their package developer experience by implementing 
debug field properties because it's a awfully tedious to do so later in real apps. With any luck, next time you are seeing something unexpected in your Flutter layouts, you won't need to debug it by perfectly visualizing in your head what each widget is doing. You can just open the widget detail tree, add any custom debug properties that would you speed you up and get back on track. For more info on Flutter, head to flutter.dev.